I think the question of interoperability is a little bit more tricky, right? Um, because what we're seeing with stablecoins is this explosion of new types of financial instruments, which is fantastic, but it also increases complexity enormously. Yeah. And so how do you simplify that? So you make sure that there's still a stable flow, right? And you make sure that everybody can access this because right now that is definitely not the case, right? You certainly have different sectors that are using it heavily and some sectors that are not using it at all, but that should be using it. So I think in terms of, you know, we've, we've focused a lot on financial fragmentation and how to reduce that. And it's not just a story about one company doing it. It has to be a collaborative effort. You know, one of the things that we're doing is working very heavily on digital public infrastructure. And this is interesting because this is the idea that you have institutions and you have governments which traditionally have not built payment rails, right? Payment rails are often built by the private sector and sort of backed up by the public sector. Mm -hmm. And now we see the public sector saying, oh, there's all these things going on. We actually have to be involved in this. And you see this movement of national payment systems, of different regulations about AI and DLT and stable coins. And so how are all these things coming together? And so we're really working to collaborate with different institutions and different governance now on the public side to see how that can reduce some of the problems with interoperability that we have from this hugely fragmented sector.